Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for Thursday, January 5th. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Newman, a bishop of our church. Let's have that moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Stir up your mighty power, Lord, come to our aid. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. You who lead Joseph's flock, shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies left us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadows, the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, to the great river is stretched out its shoots. Then, then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beast of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burnt it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Stir up your mighty power, Lord, come to our aid. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord. Though you have been angry with me, your anger has abated and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord. And he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name among the nations, make known his deeds, proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. Ring out your joy to God, our strength. Ring out your joy to God, our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud, at the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let, Let there be no foreign god among you, no, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart, to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hands against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But, but Israel, Israel, I would feed with finest wheat and, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Ring out your joy to God, our strength. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. In a time of favor, I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out, 
to those in darkness. Show yourselves the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Good morning and Merry Christmas as we continue to celebrate this Christmas season. In today's reading from Isaiah, we hear how God answered our call for salvation by sending us his only son, the infant Jesus, to live out his life like us, to suffer for us so that we can be saved and be with him for all eternity. And he also calls us out of the darkness. He calls us, and in today's gospel, we hear how he called Philip and the he said, come, follow me. We too are being called by Jesus. He tells us, come, follow me. And so it's important that we fulfill our purpose. Jesus Christ fulfilled his purpose of salvation. And we too have a purpose in our life. What that purpose is, is not always very clear to us. But I assure you, if you have that conversation with God, let him know that you give your life completely to him and ask him to guide you. His son, Jesus Christ, will be with you every step of the way, guiding you. You'll find yourself going places where you never thought you could go or would go. You'll find yourself doing things that you never dreamed were possible. Have faith, give yourself to the Lord, ask him to guide you and you will fulfill your purpose in the plan of salvation. Today we celebrate the feast of St. John Newman. He too was called and he answered that call. He was a redemptress who helped young students. That was his purpose. He answered his call. So you too, in whatever way it is, even if it's in a small way, ask God to guide you. Be part of that salvation plan. And you too will live a fulfilled life. God bless you and Merry Christmas. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Day or night, they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. I have set my watchmen to guard you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath to war to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death, 
and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of Shepherd of Souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the directions of our pastors. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Nourish, Nourish your, your people, people, Lord. Lord. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen Spring. Father, you called St. John Newman to labor for the gospel among the people of the new world. His ministry strengthened many others in the Christian faith. Through his prayers, may faith grow strong in this land. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope, we hope you can join, join us again, again tomorrow. tomorrow. Same, same time, same place, same channel. Have, have a great day. day.